So in the case of an aircraft, I certainly hope that they will keep what I would call the operation network of the aircraft separate from anything that would be streaming data or that would, for example, provide Wi-Fi or internet connectivity on board, because that would just be giving the hackers too big or the even potential terrorists even too big a window of opportunity. So I think for some really very critical elements, there may still be a need to keep them isolated. Where we're not as critical, I see the world as being becoming much more interconnected because that's where the value is going to, to come. The example you gave of connected cars, if we can get them to talk to the uh, traffic light system of the city or to talk to traffic management systems, in that case, no matter where we are, we would always be able to get the best possible route if we link this, for example, with our uh, satellite navigation system. So there's really a lot to be gained from it. So some cases keep them separate, some cases interconnect them. But if I just go back to the traffic light system for a second, that is something that needs to be very carefully monitored as well. I think it should just be one-way information going from the traffic system to the cars, because if you can hack into a traffic light system, you can paralyze the city. That would be the, could be the first step towards uh, an actual armed attack on the country would be to paralyze its capital. So we'll need to be very careful there as well. Okay, good.